So here we have the Kia Rio on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As you can see, we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. And on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 33,598. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. Uh, the button that I was using to do that is just here. You can reset the information from this button on the right-hand side as well. And then over on the left-hand side of steering wheel, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car, which is done over here on the stereo. Press the phone button and then you press number two to add a new phone. We're gonna press number one to cancel that for now. When it comes to music, we have, of course, got the radio. You can see we have FM and AM radio available. We can listen to our own music as well. Nothing is connected at the moment, but you can connect up an auxiliary device and USB device with the main volume for the stereo over here as well. Working our way down, we have the deadlock, so you can lock the car doors from the outside, our hazard warning lights, and then the air conditioning, so you can determine the temperature, van speed, and direction of the air. That button turns your air conditioning on, and it's on when that light shows. It'll obviously turn it off again as well, of course. We have our rear, uh, rear heated screen just here. Beneath that, a 12 volt charging socket, the auxiliary and USB inputs I mentioned just a moment ago. This button turns off the stop and start for the vehicle, and then we have a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.